Hello my dear students. So, it's an English time. Ready to learn English? Okay. So, today we are going to learn a very interesting poem. And the heading of the poem is Eli Telephony. Now, the name is little bit funny, right? Yes. Can you imagine something with the heading Eli Telephony? Okay. Eli Telephony means here in this poem, there is an elephant who is using a telephone. So, there is a mixture, there is a combination of two different words, elephant and telephone. So, the poet Laura Elizabeth Richards has kept the heading of the poem as Eli Telephony. So, let us see what is there in the poem. So, open your textbook to page number 55 and be ready with your notebook and your pencil to underline the hard words and note it down. But before starting up with the poem, let us see something about the poet Laura Elizabeth Richards. Laura Elizabeth Richards was born on 27th February 1850 and died on 14th January 1943. She was an American writer. She wrote more than 90 books including biographies, poetry and several for children. One well-known children's poem is her literary nonsense verse Eli Telephony. Now let us see the summary of the poem Eli Telephony. In Eli Telephony, poet uses humorous language and memorable image in order to create a scene that should easily grab a young reader's attention. The events of the poem are very unusual but still quite easy to manage. The speaker tries to navigate their way through the language unsuccessful a feature of the poem that adds to its humor. A young reader might have the same trouble with these words and take pleasure in trying out the various pronunciation. The speaker starts out the story strongly, but as soon as the elephant tries to use the telephone, they start to get confused. The words elephant and telephone merge together. They become more complex and convoluted in the later lines as the word trunk is added into the mix. Throughout the poem, the speaker directly addresses the reader or listener, informing them of the mistakes that they are making as they try to pronounce the various similar sounding words. Eli Telephony by Laura Elizabeth Richards is a 12 line poem that is contained within a single stanza of text. The lines follow a simple rhyme scheme of AA B, B, C, C, and so on, changing N sounds from couplet to couplet. The very consistent rhyme scheme is perfect for this piece or for any that is primarily aimed at a young audience. There is a distinct twisting of words in the short lines of Eli Telephony. This is part of the reason that the poem is so appealing and 
fits so well into the genre of nonsense poetry recitation of the poem eli telephony once there was an elephant who tried to use the telephant no no i mean an elephant who tried to use the telephone dear me i am not certain quite that even now i have got it right however it was he got his trunk and tangled in the telephone the more he tried to get it free the louder burst the telephone i fear i would better drop the song of elephop and telephone explanation of poem eli telephony once there was an elephant now here the speaker is introducing the main character and who is the main character it is an elephant the speaker is saying that once there was an elephant who tried to use the telephant now what is the meaning of telephant can you tell me telephant is the combination of two words one is telephone and another is elephant so telephone tele and elephant fant that is equal to telephant now the speaker is saying that once there was an elephant who was trying to use the telephant actual the elephant was trying to use the telephone though the usage of phone was through elephant so the speaker is using the word telephant no no i mean an elephone then again here the speaker is saying that so, uh, no no it's not an telephone it's an elephone so elephone is elephant who is using the phone who tried to use the telephone now here we can see that elephant is trying to use the telephone so in the first four lines of eli telephony the speaker starts off by introducing the main character and who is the main character an elephant the line sets up this nonsense poem in a very well known way anything can happen next though the amusing nature of the speaker's narration quickly comes into play with the words no no in the third line it is as though the speaker accidentally misspoke in their pronunciation of telephone this is done in order to amuse and entertain the same techniques of playing with words continues in the next lines dear me i am not certain quite now here the speaker is not sure exactly what is happening that even now i have got it right however it was he got his trunk entangled in the telephunk now the speaker is saying that it is an elephant who got entangled his trunk in the telephone now what is the meaning of entangled entangled means twisted and caught in something the elephant's trunk was entangled into telephone's wire so the lines 5 and 6 are in parenthesis these bring in the speaker's thoughts once more as they address the mistakes they have made speaking and their uncertainty that they have it right now 
as the poem progresses the mistakes get more and more pronounced the speaker really starts to jumble the words saying telefunk rather than trunk in line 8 now here we can also see that the speaker is saying that they have some confusion in pronunciation they have to use the word trunk and in spite of using trunk what they say telefunk now what is telefunk telefunk is telephone plus trunk is equal to telefunk the more he tried to get it free the speaker is saying that an elephant was trying to get free from that wire of telephone the louder buzz the telephone now the more the elephant was trying to free itself from that wire of the telephone the louder buzz the telephone means the louder the telephone was ringing louder and louder burst means it was ringing louder now from line 9 to 12 that means in the final four lines of eli telephony the speaker juxtaposes the elephant's tangled trunk with the tangle of words that they have gotten themselves into the more he tried to get it free the worse it got the same can be said for the speakers attempts to fix their pronunciation poet puts the last lines are also in parenthesis once more this again signals to the reader that the speaker is expressing their personal thoughts they decide to drop the song or the narrative of the elephant that means the speaker herself is so confused while pronouncing the words that she is thinking to drop the song she is throwing, thinking to stop the song in between of elephop and telephone now what is the meaning of elephop here also we can see two words are merged elephant and telephone that is elephop or telephone that means when the elephant was trying to rescue itself when its trunk was entangled into a wire of telephone that elephant was trying to come out of that wire but the phone was ringing louder and louder so the elephant was confused what to do and what not to do so here we can see the poet is also confused the speaker is also confused that whether she must continue with the poem or she must drop the song or that means she must stop the song in between when she is talking about tel- telephony that means when she is talking about elephant who is using telephone there are many different words in which there is a confusion regarding words so the speaker is using different types of words merging two different words and making one single word and the speaker is using portmanteau word what is the meaning of portmanteau word it means when we mix two different words with each other and that single word is known as portmanteau here also in eli telephony we have used two different words to make one single word that is elephant plus telephone is equal to eli telephony